If you'd like to see how to cook the perfect reverse sear ribeye steak, stay tuned. See me walking around. Food o'clock, and today I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect ribeye steak. So stay tuned. So as you can see, I've got a lovely couple of uh, ribeyes from my butcher's hards of house. Look, they're about sort of nearly an inch thick. Okay, um, I want to do season them up. Ever so easy. Right, get yourself some olive oil. I've just got a extra virgin olive oil here and a spray. Get a little spray like so. Massage that oil into your steak. Flip it over like so. Repeat the process. Now on a little bit like so. we go and simple seasoning on these I'm going to keep it nice and simple because I want this meat to be the flavour get yourself a decent pepper black pepper I've got a um, tilly cherry pepper there remember these are quite big thick steaks so they're going to take a lot of flavour So, then get yourself some, I've got some pink rock salt here, the Himalayan pink stuff, as you can see. And again, give them quite a bit, because these steaks will take a lot of salt. There we go. Flip them over. And repeat the process. There we go, we've got the salt, we've got the pepper on these um, ribeye steaks now. They're absolutely perfectly seasoned. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get them onto the Master Built 560 and we're gonna be doing the reverse sear method. So, look, if you haven't got a, um, a smoker or a barbecue and you want to do this, you can do it in the oven. All you're gonna do is put these into the oven for 200, uh, 250 degrees until they reach an internal temperature of 120. Then you're gonna pull them off, and then you're gonna put them in a griddle pan or flat-bottomed pan on your hob and finish them off. Well, all we're gonna do on the Masterbuilt is we're gonna treat it like an oven. So these are gonna go in, um, in Masterbuilt for 250 until the internal t temperature comes up to 120 degrees. Once the internal temperature is reached, we're gonna pull them off, I'll show you, um, and we'll let them rest while we crank up the um, master built to about 550 degrees and then we're going to sear them. So that's the process what we're gonna do with these steaks. Okay, you can replicate it in the oven. So um, I just have to transfer, think of my smoker as an oven and just repeat the process but using your oven and using your hob. So I hope you follow that. Um, Next time you're going to see me, we're going to be at the Master Built 560 when we put these bad boys on. So stay tuned!
Right, we have the stakes on the master built 560 as you can see. The temperature probe is in there and it's set for 120 degrees. I've got some hickory smoke um, that these are going to um, smoke over. So what we'll do is we'll let these, these cook um, on the first part of this cook and then we'll come back, um, show you and then do the reverse sear. So stay tuned. Right. So we've pulled these off the master built 560 and they're pulling it around 120 degrees internal temperature. So let's show you what we're gonna do next. So stay tuned. Right, here they are at the moment. And I say, at the moment they don't look very appetizing, do they? Right, if I put my temperature probe in there. As you see, look, 121, 122. So it's pretty much spot on 120, okay. Next we wanna do, you want to wrap them wrap them up in some foil like that let them rest while we heat up the master built 560 to around 500 550 degrees this would be the stage now where you get your pan on that hob and crank up the heat to get yourself a searing hot pan. Because what we're going to do is, I've got this master built set up. Now one of the one of the um, the sides is a sear zone, where when it's up to temperature, these will, these bad boys will go on and get seared, and we'll finish them off. So next time you see it, you'll see it in the master built, and um, I'll be showing you how to sear these up. So stay tuned. So we've now got the ribeyes on the master built, and they're searing away. Um, as you can see, all we do is just flip them. Like so you just basically just, just flip them down again, just to give them a bit of colour on the outside. So what we do, we can see you shortly when they're done. So stay tuned. Right, the steaks are perfectly done. So let's take a look at these bad boys. Right. So here are the steaks, okay. Let's have a look at the temperature of this bad boy here. It should be 130, perfect. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Or well, it's just gone up to 130 to 133. It's gonna raise a little bit, but that's what we are. We've achieved our goal. Look, 130, there we go. Okay, so these are perfectly medium rare. So let's cut into one of these bad boys and show you what they look like. Let's just, I'm just gonna slice it in half. That'd be the easiest way. There we go. Perfectly pink in the middle, perfectly evenly cooked. Um, let, let's take a little sliver off. Like so. And give this bad boy a taste test. So we've got this little morsel here Let's give it a taste test. So we've got this little morsel. It's perfectly cooked. It's perfectly juicy. Um, it's pink in the middle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's give it a try. It melts like butter. It's absolutely fantastic, just on the cloth. The flavours are fantastic. So look, give this method a try. You can either do it on the barbecue, a reverse sear like I did on the barbecue, or you can replicate it in your oven by putting these in the oven first, bring them up to 120, and then searing them in a griddle pan or your frying pan to get the, the effect of like we've got here. Um, and that's it basically, that is how to cook a perfect steak. It's simple, you can do it with any steak, ribeye, sirloin, um, fillet, whatever cut of steak you want, use this method time and time again and you'll get it right every time. So, this was with the ribeye steak, um, a lot of things, I'm um, hard to housed. this is where I get my steak from, absolutely fantastic steak as always. Um, so look, if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up, <laughs> all right? Leave a comment below, Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review, a new video. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. 
Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>